What's up guys? My name is Steven. Welcome to video number three in this new series where I'm teaching you how to build a login registration system using Facebook Connect um, in a Coding Igniter application. Uh, in this video I'm going to grab the Facebook PHP SDK located on their website or on a GitHub repository and uh, we're going to include it into our library that we just created um, in Coding Igniter in this application. Um, so the first thing I want to do is uh, just get rid of this little blurb. Oh no, don't open that. IE Explorer, no! Okay, um, right, oh my goodness. What on earth is happening? Do not open Windows Explorer. <laughs> okay, um, so in my controller, I guess, all I want to do, my main controller, is just not call this test function. I'll just get rid of it, uh, get rid of that there, but I'll still have access to that function because it actually is a method in my library. Okay, so I'm going to go to the developers.facebook.com website. It should look like this at the time of this recording. I believe it's uh, August 10th, um, 2012. Um, so right now, Facebook SD uh, SDK 3.0 um, is the current version, and I mean it's says iOS there, but it's also the 3.0 for um, PHP and JavaScript and all these other uh, languages that you can use the Facebook SDK in. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Build for Websites uh, button, because that's what we're doing. And then we're going to scroll down to... No, we're going to go down. See on the left-hand side it says SDK Reference. So we'll click SDK Reference, and then Facebook SDK for PHP. If I click on this, it'll give me, it'll tell me a little bit about it, um, and I actually suggest that you read this. It explains uh, a little bit about how these uh, Facebook objects are instantiated, but in this case, I'll be explaining most of it later on. So you don't need to worry about it, but for if you actually want di to dive deep into the Facebook Connect API, I strongly recommend you start reading this, um, especially if you're, if we're, yeah. So um, it says we can download the Facebook SDK for PHP from GitHub. So we'll click on this link. That'll take us to their GitHub repository. And I'll just click download the zip. And I will save the file. And go to my downloads. There it is. Oops. OK, I'm going to open this up. Use a program called WinRAR, which I haven't bought. <laughs> Um, I will open up this folder inside of this inside of the zip folder, and then really the only three files that we need are located inside of source. See, these are tests, examples, and a little bit of this. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's for. We'll open up the source folder, and there's three files in here, and these are the only things that we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Notepad. Uh, oops. I'm going to go to Notepad. And I'm going to click and drag these just into like this uh, into this tab bar, so I can open up all three of these um, right in my tab bar. And then because I'm not going to use a Facebook or a FTP client, I can add them straight into my project using this. But uh, if you wanted to, you could also um, just drag and drop those three files into the libraries folder, um, regardless of wherever your Code Igniter installation is. So what I'm going to do is in this libraries folder, I'm going to create a new directory or a new folder. I'm just call it Facebook. Then I'll click on it and then go to each of these three files and click on upload file, which is it's just a nice little uh, nice little utility built into uh, Notepad plus plus. And you can see these three files are now being added onto my web server. I'm using uh, this upload file button on Notepad++. And now however you choose to to get those three files into your into a Facebook folder in the libraries is completely up to you. That's just how I was going to do it. Um, so that's it. Now I have the Facebook SDK located on my web server. Refresh this. Hello world is still being outputted. So let's see where that is. Alright, the send back function. So I'll get rid of this as well. Perfect.
Come on. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now I have my uh, my Facebook Connect um, SDK all downloaded and located in the Facebook folder in my libraries folder. So what I want to do now is I actually want to uh, include this before I even open my class. So I'll go include say app path dot. So I'll append on a string that says libraries. slash Facebook slash Facebook.php so the actual file that I'm loading is this middle Facebook file so let's let's actually open that up and take a look inside of it um, so it requires the first thing it does is require the base Facebook file um, and, the, and then uh, if we look at the constructor method of of this class we can see that it receives um, config, uh, a parameter called uh, config. And we can read right here, it says it's an array that, uh, that contains, um, well, essentially, it will be an array that contains our app ID and our app secret key uh, once we actually create our Facebook application. So uh, now would be actually a perfect time to do that um, now that we've included this. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our browser. We'll go to um, develop, developers.facebook.com slash apps. And right now you can see there's a couple that I've created. Um, this is for the demo that I was building just to practice for this tutorial so that this app secret, I'll have you know, means absolutely nothing. Um, but it is something that you do want to keep very secret. So the first thing, uh, what I'll do is I'll create a new app. I'll click this create new app button. My app name will be a CI Tutorial Demo. And hopefully that name hasn't been taken, and it hasn't. Perfect. That's the only thing that I actually want to specify on this, on this little form. I'll click Continue. It's going to ask me for a little capture to make sure I'm not a robot. So I'll do this. SNQ. Perfect. Hopefully that was right. Sometimes I think it's right and it's not actually. Okay, so my um, there's a couple things I need to do on this page. You can see right away it's giving me an app ID and an app secret, and that information will be extremely useful and actually required will be required to use this information to actually instantiate instantiate our Facebook object. Um, but as for now, we don't we don't need it. Um, I'm just going to fill out some other information on this website before I actually use this information. So our app domains for me um, because I'm on a web server, my app domain is going to be assemblytech.com. Um, perfect. And uh, right here it says select how your app integrates with Facebook. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ways that we can build an app and integrate it with Facebook. Um, but in our case, we're just going to, ours is just a website with Facebook login. Right? So my site URL is going to be http colon slash slash www.assemblytech.com slash tutorial slash three underscore fb, FB connect. I'll, uh, I'll paste that in here and we want to make sure that this is followed by a forward slash. Um, so now now that we've made these changes and this is actually where my code igniter installation is going to be I can click save changes it's going to tell me it, might, it may take several minutes but usually only takes a couple seconds. Um, propagate to all servers or whatever, but essentially this means that um, my Facebook app can now be used in my Facebook uh, web application um, if I have the correct data. So in the next video I'm going to show you, um, we'll be creating a config file including this information in it and then when we go to actually instantiate our Facebook object we'll be passing those variables in an array um, into when we instantiate the Facebook object.